What is up you guys? It is Katya Books. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to another supplement review. Yes, we've been busting them out like crazy because luckily I've been able to try so many different kinds of products lately. Well, not so many different kinds, but so many different protein powders as of lately. I know we need to do another pre-workout. I will, I promise there is one that I'm hoping to do pretty soon. So stay tuned for that. But anyways, we are t trying today Legion's plant protein. We've got two flavors today because they also have a third flavor of a mocha, but we've got chocolate and vanilla. The mocha was out of stock multiple times in which I've checked the website. So I'm happy to try these two flavors as well. See if a classic chocolate and a classic vanilla taste good. And if they do, then I'll be more than happy to try to order the mocha flavor to try for you guys. But anyways, these are their plant plus protein. It says, it's just for example, the chocolate on the front says pea and rice protein, naturally sweetened and flavored, no added sugars. And on the back, it shows that it has a full profile of like vitamins and minerals. So if you can see that pretty well, I don't know. It's got a lot of stuff in it. It doesn't say quite like all the ingredient breakdown. The only other ingredients, it just says the alka alkalized cacao, natural flavor, sea salt, stevia, and xanthan gum. Super simple, super clean. So let's see how this tastes. For the vanilla and the chocolate, the macros are, I think, pretty similar. Well, the chocolate's got 160 calories, three fat, four carb, and 25 protein. And for the vanilla, it's got 150 calories, 2.5 fat, three carb, and 25 protein. But it's super awesome, it has all your vitamins and minerals. Oh, it's even got creatine monohydrate. It's only 500 milligrams, but that's kinda cool. Yeah, so pea protein's got zinc, selenium, all your, yeah, minerals, like I mentioned, even B12 in there, some folate. And it's got even some digestive enzymes in there as well, such as bromelain, papine, protease, amylase, so, that's pretty awesome. Very well-rounded protein, I would say. Not a fruits and veg blend, but you still got vitamins and minerals, which are super important. So I'm gonna go ahead, open up, and open up, at least I think the chocolate we'll start with, and then we'll give it a taste test. All right, so hopefully the vanilla won't be as difficult to open because I had to literally go downstairs and like pry it open. Maybe it was just stuck. Hopefully that's not like, any of their other products and they're not difficult to open. But anyways, we got it open. It's mixed up right here with just water in this clean almond butter jar that I'm using. It smelled really good when I opened up the tub. It just smelled like chocolate. I didn't smell any like pea protein or anything. So I'm anticipating for it to taste pretty good too. Hopefully it's not too much water. Yeah, that smells nice and chocolatey. And with such clean ingredients, let's see how it tastes. Okay, okay, not as good as it smells, but it's pretty good. Hmm, for a simple chocolate protein powder, it's pretty good, it's smooth. I'm trying to think of it like in comparison. It tastes, if it's as similar to, of a chocolate taste as to the Sun Warrior chocolate protein powder. I would prefer this chocolate protein powder over this because if you remember from how I've described it that one reminds me of more of like a hot chocolate flavored chocolate than I don't know a chocolate cake a dark chocolate milk chocolate you know there's so many different kinds of chocolates out there this one I don't know tastes it reminds me more of like maybe even Ovaltine kind of chocolate so it is more milk chocolatey it is good but it's not the best chocolate. I would give this though like an eight out of 10 because alone with just water, it tastes pretty solid and it's very smooth, mixed perfectly with water. I'm not complaining at all that if I had to pack this in my car real quick because I had to go somewhere after the gym and needed quick protein and mixed with water, it's good, it's solid, I like it. Mm. And I'm excited to finish the tub, try it with like, either making a protein ice cream or having it in my morning oatmeal. So, I mean, it's a solid chocolate protein 
through and through. So I'm gonna finish this up, I'll clean out the jar, and then we'll try the vanilla. All right, so the vanilla mixed up also very well, very easily with just water. Also smelled really good when I opened up the tub, so I'm excited to try this one as well. Mmm, that smells nice. Okay, that's pretty good. Hmm, not out of this world, but it's a very simple, clean vanilla taste. There's almost like a hint of coconut in it. I don't know where that's coming from. It's got like coconut flour or something, but I mean, it has nothing of the sort. Maybe that's just my mind mixing me up, but it tastes like a very clean, simple vanilla. I mean, there's not much to say about it. It's not out of this world. So I'll give it like, you know, an 8.5 out of 10 because it is very good, very simple. Like I said, I'm just repeating myself, but there's like no texture to it from like the brown rice or the pea protein. So I love that about it so that if you are to have it just with water, it's gonna be, you know, really good. But I could imagine this also being very good in your protein oatmeal or however you like to prepare it. It would be good for baking, that kind of stuff. So very good, not disappointed whatsoever. So I'm gonna finish this up and then we will wrap up this review. All right guys, so overall thoughts on the Legion plant protein in chocolate and vanilla. I really enjoyed them. They tasted very good. Now as for recommendation, there is a little caveat when it comes to that. So on their website, they're listed as $47.99, so pretty much $48. So that'll run you, you know, over 96, about 96, 97, almost $100 for two tubs of protein powder and I mean there's gonna be tax and shipping as well and the most I could find was a 10% coupon code for it and these got only 20 servings so that's more than two dollars a serving if you do the calculation so it's up to you if you want to buy it and you want to try it but if you want a better recommendation for a good chocolate and vanilla protein powder I would say Sun Warrior is gonna give you a better deal, plus you can get 20% off. The links are in the description box below, as well as the coupon code. There's a reason that I have coupon codes for both Sun Warrior and Live Body. That's because they are my absolute go-tos for good protein powders. If you want something with, you know, your full like aminos and vitamins and minerals, this will definitely give it to you. But also Live Body has that plus a fruits and veg blend. So they are very tasty, they just are more expensive, so if you wanna save money, again, links in the description box below. But I will also link their protein powder if you wanna give them a try because they do taste very good. Overall, did enjoy them. Will I buy them again? Possibly not, just because I can save money going for Live Body or Sun Warrior and they taste just as good, if not better. So yes, if you enjoyed this review, please do give it a thumbs up. Let me know in the description box below or I'm not the description box below, I'm in the comment section below what you'd like for me to try next. I'm definitely going to be creating a top five and a bottom five list of vegan protein powders that I've tried. But as you see, I've been trying so many lately that it's just, ah, it's so hard to want to create that list when I feel like there's more to try. But I will have to, I am working on that list and I mean, maybe you'll anticipate two of the five already, but there are some that you may not anticipate to be on the list, and especially the bottom five that I don't recommend whatsoever. So stay tuned for that to come out. So yeah, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Like this video if you enjoyed it, and I will catch you in the next one. So stay safe, get those gains in the gym, and I'll catch you later. Bye.